Hello friends, this video on decimals part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will see the relationship or the conversion between decimals and fractions. So how do we represent decimals as fractions? Because as I mentioned before that decimals are nothing but values of fractions. So let us see how do we represent decimals in the form of fractions. Basically how do we convert decimals into fractions. So let's say 0.4. So that means this is also value of some fraction because that's the definition of decimals. So how do we convert it into a fraction. Now let's do it this way. So 0 is at the 1's place and 4 is at the 10th's place. So this can be written as 0 into 1 plus 4 into 1 by 10. So this can be written as 0 plus 4 by 10. So 0 plus 4 by 10 would be 4 by 10. And what is 4 by 10? It is nothing but a fraction. So you see we have converted the decimal into fraction. Let's look at one more example. Let's say 1.6. So here 1 is at the 1's place and 6 is at the 10th's place. So we can write it as 1 into 1 plus 6 into 1 by 10. So this can be written as 1 plus 6 by 10. So this is like addition of fractions which we have learned in the previous lesson. So you take the LCM of the two denominators which is 10. So now this denominator 1 should be multiplied by 10 to get 10. Therefore the numerator should also be multiplied by 10. And this side the de denominator is already 10. So the numerator will remain as it is. So this is 10 plus 6 divided by 10. This is 16 by 10. So this is the fraction. One more example, 3.7. So 3.7 again can be written as 3 into 1 plus 7 into 1 by 10. So this would be equal to 3 plus 7 by 10. Again the same thing, take LCM of the two denominators. So this becomes 3 into 10 plus 7. So this is 30 plus 7 divided by 10. This is equal to 37 by 10. Now in all of these, you see, I have done it very elaborately. That is, I have actually expanded the decimal number and then I have found out the fraction. But when you just look at all of these randomly, what do you see? So a simple tip that you can follow is whenever you have a decimal point, what you do is you divide that number. First, you write that number without the decimal point. For example, it is 0 0.4. Instead of that, you just write 0, 4 or 4. And then in the denominator, you add as many zeros as you have numbers after the decimal point. So here after decimal point, you just have 4. So you have just added one zero in the denominator. Here after the decimal point, again, you have just one digit. Therefore, you have added only one zero in the denominator. So now with this tip you see everything becomes so quick. For example let's say this is your decimal 3.725. So how will you write it in the fractional form? Just write the number without the decimal point and in the denominator how many zeros the number how many how many digits do you have after the decimal point? 1, 2, 3. So you put three zeros. That's it. So it's that simple. Let's say you have 6.31. So how will you write this? So this can be written as 631 divided by how many zeros? 1, 2. So two zeros. So this is how you write decimals as fractions. So put as many zeros in the denominator, as many digits you have after the decimal point. Let's look at a few more examples. Let's say 9.83. How would you write this? You can write it as 983 divided by 100. That's because there are two digits after the decimal point. How about 0 0.3? So you will write it as 3 divided by 10. That's because there is only one digit after the decimal point. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.